get out that handkerchief, open up that diary, and get ready to let loose those true feelings. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 emo bands of all time. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be ranking the most influential and long-standing bands from the emo genre. We'll be discussing groups who have either cemented the musical foundations of emo, or have otherwise found worldwide acclaim and success with their own takes on the style. We'll be omitting Weezer from this list, however, as most fans tend to only equivocate the band's self-titled debut and Pinkerton as landmark emo records. Number 10. Thursday New Jersey's Thursday are one of the most successful and popular bands from the screamo genre, a substyle of emo which employs impassioned screaming and heavy guitars to create a properly emphatic impact. A few of the band's members share vocal duties, alternating between sensitive clean singing and screams to offset Thursday's energetic guitar attack. The band was active for almost 15 years before taking an extended hiatus in 2011, only to reunite in 2016 for a series of festival dates which included a homecoming show in New Jersey's Starland Ballroom. Number 9. Jawbreaker Sprung up from the jam spaces of New York University, this punk rock inspired emo outfit progressed the genre to new heights during the latter part of the 1980s and into the 1990s. <laughs> Jawbreaker's subtle mixture of do it yourself ideals and jangly indie rock guitar work quickly won an audience, and it wasn't long before the band signed a major label deal with media mogul David Geffen. The resulting album's scrubbed-down, clean production style diluted the band's favor with fans, however, with Jawbreaker going their separate ways not long afterwards. Come on, someone, I can't be Number 8. The Get Up Kids Emo's second wave found a major power player within Kansas City, Missouri's catchiest young rock band, The Get Up Kids. Pop beat stripped down songwriting was finding favor within the newer crop of emo bands, and the Get Up Kids were quick to lead the charge with straight ahead sing along rock and roll. Stay gone. The band's 1999 album Something to Write Home About focused upon anthemic melodies and big time choruses, and did a great job at increasing the band's profile, introducing them to a whole new group of fans. Stay These fans included future pop punk star groups Blink 182 and Fall Out Boy both of which cite the Get Up Kids as a major influence. Number 7. Dashboard Confessional breathe in for luck, breathe in so deep. If you were to look up the textbook definition of emo in the dictionary, you'd see a photo of Dashboard Confessional and their charismatic frontman Chris Caraba. This isn't an insult, of course, as Dashboard Confessionals seemingly have a knack for composing some of the most effective and memorable emo tunes around, including the hit single, Hands Down. Karaba's sensitive and soft vocals meld perfectly with the band's often upbeat and laser-focused attention to songwriting detail. Dashboard Confessional also possess a powerful connection with their fans, who have been known to shout back the band's lyrics in a passionate call-and-response frenzy. Number 6. American Football It isn't often that a band makes one of these best of lists based solely upon the strength of a single album, but such was the impact of American football upon the emo scene with their 1999 self-titled debut. Over, the Illinois-based band struck a chord with fans with an EP before dropping the album via Polyvinyl Records, a collection of songs which hinged upon a soft yet determined musical approach. Complex time signatures and jazz influence permeated American football songwriting, but the band didn't last long as a touring entity, and decided to call it quits shortly after the new millennium. 
2016 saw the return of American football to the emo scene, however, with a new album and tour plans announced to their patient fans. Maybe I'm asleep. This is all Number 5. Brand New We saw the western coast I saw the hospital it takes a bevy of influences to create the musical melting pot which is Long Island's brand new. Indie rock, pop, punk, and classic rock all make up the creative stew for songwriter Jesse Lacey and company, with brand new drawing inspiration from a diverse spread of artists, such as the Smiths, the Cars, and the Beach Boys. Vocal and guitar melodies alike make up the intriguing sound of Brand New, with particular attention paid to arrangements and songwriting. Fans responded well, with Brand New getting more headway with each successive album. Number 4. Taking Back Sunday Hot indie darlings to major label emo heroes? It's more likely than you think when we're talking about the story of Taking Back Sunday. Upbeat, punk-fueled guitar riffs and pop-friendly songcraft defined the early energy of Taking Back Sunday, while later albums incorporated more than enough layered vocals and aggressive musicianship to expose the band to fans beyond the traditional emo spectrum. Indeed, fast forward almost 20 years since their formation, and Taking Back Sunday are still going strong in 2016 with their latest album, Tidal Wave. Number 3. My Chemical Romance well, if you wanted honesty, that's all you have to say. New Jersey has been known for spawning a bevy of emo's most important and influential bands, one of which being a little band by the name of My Chemical Romance. Goth, pomp, and unabashed punk rock were filtered into MCR's increasingly extravagant sound, amplified by the band's evocative and memorable music videos. Epic tracks like Welcome to the Black Parade and The Ghost of You were offset by the comical I'm Not Okay, I Promise to create a musical style which was unique and commercially successful across the board. Number 2. Jimmy Eat World The story of Mesa, Arizona's Jimmy Eat World is one of indie rock street cred done right, a success story for a band truly deserving of all their accolades. Radio came running for the pop-friendly sound of Jimmy Eat World with the breakout success of their 2001 album Bleed American. Follow-up album's Futures and Chase This Light increased the band's profile exponentially. Perfecting their balancing act of combining smart rock rhythms, strong songwriting, and an honest confessional sensibility with frontman Jim Adkins' explosive stage presence. Before we reveal our top emo pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Sunny Day Real Estate There are few emo bands from the 90s more influential than Sunny Day Real Estate. The quartet only managed a small handful of albums before calling it quits in 2001, but the legacy of their major label debut album Diary remains one of the most powerful in the genre's history. The album was a smash for label Sub Pop Records and inspired legions of younger bands with its fresh and dynamic approach to sensitive melodic rock songwriting. 
Want proof? Simply listen to the album's lead single 7 for evidence of just how important Sunny Day Real Estate were to Emo's development as a viable and successful musical genre. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.